What's up, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Undercover Vikings. I'm so happy to be here with you guys because we just got to watch episode 11 of season 4B and we got to see Ragnar raiding. No, we did it. We didn't see Ragnar raiding. He was just walking around, tired, hungry, and tired. That's it. Tired, hungry, and tired. But we got to see him visit all the people he loves and the original people he started his journey with. He was able to talk with his sons who really don't care for him except for Ivar. And he got to talk with Floki who we all know they had their hard times but they shared that loving moment. And he got to talk with Helga which you guys think that they were flirting. I didn't think so but you guys did. And he went to Lagatha which they shared their goodbye kiss. Oh, sad. You guys don't like her new girlfriend, but what's a girl got to do? She needs to take the leadership role. And how do you do that? You get yourself a little girl on the side. I don't think she really loves her, and she might just be a side thing. But as for now, she's working, I guess, right? Uh, the crazy thing about this episode was Ragnar got to find out about Magnus. Finally! Finally! We don't even know if that's his kid, and he doesn't even believe that's his kid. He thought it was a joke. Um, but he didn't find out about Alfred. That sucks. Yeah, we wanted him to find out about Alfred. What's going on? One on history, Michael. Get Alfred in there. But anyway, I can't wait to see that stuff in Wessex. We didn't get to go to Wessex and we didn't go to Paris because we didn't see Rolo. Rolo was not in the episode, guys. He wasn't. Ivar kind of lost his virginity, but he failed at performing and the girl was about to get killed by him. But guess what? She was able to talk him down. I hope she stays a little longer. I actually like her. You guys don't like her? I did. I thought she was cute. Not that I'm saying I'm going over there. I'm just saying she was cute. She was cute. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I thought the episode was a slow start, which some of you also agree with me. But I think that they're just trying to build the anticipation because I honestly feel like Ragnar is going to die. He's, he's a dead man walking. He wants to die. And I think they did a really good way of portraying for us to just be like, yeah, man, you just need to go. It's your time. Because before we were all like, hell no. But now I think we're all like, yeah, you need to go. And he kind of tried to hang himself with a noose, and that didn't work. He ended up falling on the floor. Ragnar, you know better. Don't kill yourself. But I hope he dies with some dignity. We all know he's going to get captured, and he's going to Wessex. The previews show that Bjorn is trying to overthrow his dad. Why, Bjorn? Rude much? Okay, I understand you don't like your dad right now, but you don't have to try to overthrow him. And then worse, you don't even want to take the throne. You're giving it to fine hair? We don't even like fine hair. Who likes fine hair? I don't like him. Why would you give that to him? But anyway, moving on. And Ivor had agreed to go with his dad, so in the previews for the next episode, it shows his mother pleading with him not to. We see, like, he's in the boat with his dad, and it's kind of tipping over. I think that's a vision that Oslag had. I think... I don't think he really tipped over in the boat. I think that thing of him crawling and screaming and his mom trying to hold him back, I think that was his dad leaving him. I think that was his dad leaving him. What do you guys think? I don't know. But anyway, the episode was a slow start, but it's okay. Hopefully, next episode we're going to get to see a lot more. I love the comments that you guys share. Just make sure that we're being kind to each other in the comments, guys. We don't want to offend anybody, especially if someone decides to live a different lifestyle than you or someone likes to point out other things in the episode and other people disagree with them. Don't just make it into a negative thing. Just comment what you think, and that's pretty much it. If you have nothing nice to say, keep it to yourself. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you next week. Bye. All right, really quickly, guys, let's pick the winner. We'll go right in here. We're going to pick a winner. And the winner for the competition is Stephanie. Congratulations, Stephanie. Um, and I'll be in contact with you soon. You're always sharing your comments on any all the things that I post, so... Thank you so much, and you get to receive the three DVD box set. Thanks, guys.